Oren Layfield, a TV and radio presenter whose subject is the acclaimed Sheffield rock band Arctic Monkeys. <laughs> Your name? Lauren Layfield. Your occupation? TV and radio presenter. Your chosen charity? A bloody good period. And your specialist subject? Arctic Monkeys. The chart-topping indie rock band formed in Sheffield in 2002, fronted by Alex Turner. In one and a half minutes, let's go. Arctic Monkeys' first UK hit single, which entered the chart at number one, features the line, I bet that you look good on the dance floor, dancing to electro-pop like a robot, from what year? 1984. Yes, what's the name of the co-founder of Domino Records, who signed the band to his label in 2005? The drummer, Matt Helders, later saying he seemed like a genuine fan. <sighs> James Ford. No, Lawrence Bell. The video for the band's third UK hit single, Leave Before the Lights Come On, stars Kate Ashfield and which Staffordshire-born actor? Paddy Constantine. Yes, when the band played at the opening ceremony of the London 2012 Olympics, they performed a cover version of which Beatles song? Uh, Come Together. Yes, the cover of the band's second UK number one single, When the Sun Goes Down, features the exterior of which rehearsal rooms on Mowbray Street in Sheffield? Yellow something something. No, Bruce Works. At the Brits in 2007, where they won two awards, the band made their acceptance speeches by video, dressed as members of the village people in one and as characters from which 1939 film in the other? Uh, Wizard of Oz? Yes, in which song does Turner sing about looking for someone in the battleship, the Rusty Hook and the Parrot's Beak, before musician produced much of the band's third album, Humbug, in sessions at the Pink Duck Studio and Rancho de la Luna, both in California? Josh Homme. Yes. In the first line of Star Treatment, the opening track on the album Tranquility Base Hotel, I've got this all finished, Tranquility Base Hotel and Casino, Alex Turner sings I Just Wanted to Be One of... Which band? The Strokes. Lauren, you had no pass, seven points. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Well, Lauren, all those disciplines. Who needs sleep, Clive? Not me. <laughs> now, what time is that? So it's uh, four in the morning is when I go on air. So, yes, yeah, super early. And that's clearly OK. You know, you've got this massive audience of people who are up at that time. Really nice to just play them some good tunes to kind of get them going and start their day right. It is a privilege. Time. You get a lot of people working in supermarkets, people working in hospitals, uh, taxi drivers, lorry drivers, people doing, like, proper hard graft, not like me sitting in a radio studio. <laughs> the beat to be a celebrity mastermind is Rachel's two minutes, starting now. When it's written in digits, the number 100 has how many zeros? Two. Yes, Milson's Point to the north and Dawes Point to the south are linked by a famous bridge in the harbour of which Australian city? Sydney. Yes, what's the title of the 2021 James Bond film, the 25th in the official series and the fifth to star Daniel Craig? Oh, no time to die? Yes, the largest species of crocodile native to Africa, which can grow to more than 15 feet in length, is named after which river? The Big River. Which television series first shown in 2004 when it was narrated by David Morrissey? Do celebrities trace their family histories and learn about the lives of their ancestors? Who do you think you are? Yes. What meteorological phenomenon is classified into several different types, such as ball, sheet, forked and ribbon? Lightning. Yes. Which European country has the international vehicle registration code B? Bulgaria. Of which Grand Slam tennis tournament? Wimbledon? No, US Open. What's the medical name for either of the bones in the human body that are commonly referred to as the shoulder blades? Scapula? Yes. Bill and Hillary Clinton first met when they were both studying at the law school of which Ivy League university? Harvard. No, Yale. As a child in 1035, the French nobleman who later became known as William the Conqueror inherited the title Duke of Ware. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>